A global outage impacting major airlines, hospitals, and even 911 call centers. The boss of cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike has apologized for the catastrophic IT outage which brought the world to a standstill. Our airports, supermarkets, banks and businesses. So much of what we rely on brought to a halt in what is the biggest IT outage in history. Could the world handle the chaos if CrowdStrike went down again? What's up, CyberFam? Welcome back to Computer Hackers. Today, we're diving deep into a recent event that sent shockwaves through the tech world, the CrowdStrike outage. This wasn't your average server hiccup. We're talking global chaos, airlines grounded, banks locked down, and even grocery stores stuck in the dark ages. Buckle up, because we're about to dissect this digital disaster. The fallout. So rewind to July 18th, 2024. Everything seems normal, right? Wrong. A seemingly routine software update from cybersecurity company, CrowdStrike, throws a massive wrench into the gears. This update, meant to protect systems, ends up causing a system-wide meltdown. Now imagine this. You're at the airport, excited for your vacation. Suddenly, flight information screens go blank. Panic starts to set in. This wasn't just happening at airports, banks, hospitals, stock exchanges. You name it, they felt the sting of the outage. This wasn't a scene from a movie, it was reality for millions. A faulty update from cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike sent shockwaves through the global IT system. The culprit. All right, let's break down the culprit, the CrowdStrike Falcon sensor update. This update, designed to run deep within Windows systems, went rogue. Users across the board experienced the dreaded blue screen of death. Essentially, the update malfunctioned, locking down systems and rendering them unusable. Businesses and individuals were suddenly stuck with non-functional computers, creating significant disruptions. CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz quickly addressed the issue. Um, we know what the issue is. Uh, we're resolving and have resolved the issue now. It's recovering uh, systems that are out there. And essentially, as you've talked about in the statement I put out is, um, the system uh, was sent an update and that update had a, a software bug in it and caused a uh, an issue with the Microsoft operating system. And uh, we identified this very quickly and remediated the issue. And as systems come back online, as they're rebooted, they're coming up and, and they're working. And now we are uh, working with each and every customer to make sure that we can bring them back online. Reassuring everyone that this was not a cyber attack, but a problematic software update. The company has since worked to rectify the situation, ensuring systems are up and running smoothly again. While software updates aim to enhance security and functionality, this incident highlights the critical need for rigorous testing and swift responses to unexpected glitches. The ripple effect. The effects were widespread. Airlines like Delta, United, and American were grounded in the US, leaving frustrated passengers stranded. Here in Australia, things weren't much better. Sydney Airport turned into a waiting game, with flights delayed or canceled. But the chaos wasn't limited to travel. Financial institutions like Australia's Commonwealth Bank faced transaction disruptions. Even media outlets weren't spared. Major broadcasters like Sky News in the UK went dark, and Australia's national broadcaster faced technical difficulties. Beyond travel, the recent disruptions went far beyond travel delays. Supermarkets like Woolworths and Coles in Australia faced significant issues at checkout, causing frustration among shoppers. Imagine standing in line with a cart full of groceries only to be met by a blue screen at the register. These technical failures didn't just affect retail. Healthcare systems and booking platforms were also hit hard. Patients experienced delays in receiving care, and appointments were missed or rescheduled. This incident highlighted just how critical our dependence on technology has become in daily life. From buying food to accessing medical care, these systems are integral to our routine activities. When they fail, the impact is immediate and widespread, underscoring the necessity for robust and reliable technological infrastructure. This event serves as a reminder of the vulnerabilities in our increasingly digital world and the importance of ensuring these systems are resilient and secure. Microsoft VPS Servers Many businesses rely on Microsoft's virtual private server, VBS, services for hosting applications, managing data and ensuring smooth operations. Unfortunately, these services weren't immune during the recent outage, causing significant downtime and service disruptions. 
companies using Microsoft VPS experienced unexpected interruptions, which likely impacted their ability to conduct business and provide services to their customers. The outage may have affected various sectors, from small businesses to large enterprises, as many rely on these virtual environments for critical functions. The downtime could have led to lost revenue, customer dissatisfaction, and a scramble to restore normal operations. This incident highlights the importance of having robust backup plans and contingency measures in place to mitigate the effects of such outages. It also underscores the critical nature of reliable cloud services for modern businesses, as any disruption can have far-reaching consequences. The Fix Thankfully, it wasn't all doom and gloom. CrowdStrike identified the issue quickly and rolled out a fix. Microsoft also confirmed the underlying cause was addressed. However, some services, like Office 365, took longer to recover. The human cost. Let's not forget the human cost. Imagine the frustration of missing your flight or not being able to access essential banking services. This outage caused a lot of inconvenience and disruption for people around the world. Security lessons learned. So what can we take away from this as everyday users? Patching your software is important, but blindly updating isn't always the smartest move. Maybe wait a day or two after a major update is released to see if any issues arise. Also, consider basic security practices like having backups for important data. This isn't just for businesses. Even personal files and documents need a safety net. The big question. The big question remains. Will this happen again? The truth is, we can't say for sure. But by learning from incidents like the crowd strike outage, we can work towards a more secure and resilient digital future. Looking forward. On a positive note, this incident highlighted the impressive collaboration between tech giants and governments. Everyone worked together to mitigate the damage and get systems back online. It shows that even in the face of digital disasters, collaboration is key. Protecting yourself. So what can you do as an individual? Stay informed about security updates and following patching routines is crucial. Back up your data regularly so downtime doesn't lead to data loss. Consider alternative communication methods in case online services become unavailable. The Aftermath Thankfully, most systems bounced back within a day. However, the crowd strike outage serves as a wake-up call. We need robust security solutions, thorough testing, and contingency plans to minimize future disruptions. That's it for this episode, Computer Hackers. We hope you found our deep dive into the crowd strike outage insightful. Your feedback is crucial. So drop a comment below and share your thoughts on how we can enhance our preparation for similar events. What strategies or tools do you think would be effective in preventing or mitigating such disruptions? Remember, your insights could help shape future discussions and improve our collective cybersecurity practices. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with the latest tech breakdowns and security insights, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you more valuable content and keeps you in the loop with the ever-evolving world of tech and cybersecurity. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.